Okay, so we're in Maya, and we're going to unfold a head using the new unfold 3D method. We can fuse UVs over here in a separate editor. I like to have it in the same, in the window next to the head I, I'm viewing. So if we just select the outliner, we get a two-window view. That's the only reason I'm selecting the outliner, just to get a two-window view. And then select Panels, UV Texture Editor. We have them side by side, which I find easier to work with. Now at this point, it's a complete mess. There's a big overlapping polygons. So I need something to start with. And the easiest way to do it is to start with a planar projection because then everything will fit in the image and you won't have stuff sticking out. There will be a lot of overlap, but we don't care about that right now. So we could go to, um, I'm in animation, I need to be in polygons. Create UVs and create the UVs. There's also a faster method. We all know if we right click, we get this marking menu. You can get your selections quickly. If you hold down shift, you get a different marking menu, which includes mapping. And I can now say, I want a planar map in Z. So now it's just planar projection in C across the face. And we have something to start with. All the polygons are mapped, they are connected, and they're in the UV space. So to unfold this head, I need to cut it open somewhere. So I'm going to cut it open at the back. So let's say I go to my edge selection and say, here is when I want, want to start the cut. I should not have soft selection on. So this is where I start the cut. Now if I double click on it, it selects the entire edge all around, but I don't want the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this one and then select to where it needs to go on the other side and double click there. If you do that, it only selects the portion between those two. So the front is not selected, it's selected the edge all the way across the back. And that's why I'm going to cut this UV open. And I'm going to do that by simply hitting the scissors, cut open. And then I need to select my UVs and go to Polygons, Unfold. And I'm going to select the new <coughs> Unfold 3D method. If the choice is not up there, if you just have the legacy um, method there, you need to go into your plugin manager and make sure the Unfold 3D is actually loaded, which it is in this case. So we're going to select the Unfold 3D method. It has, seems to have less options. Um, and I just have all the options selected. And if I apply this, it unfolds my face in one go. So it's now unfolded. There's no more overlap. And this is basically usable. <coughs> we have every, his entire face laid out. One of the big advantages of this method is, is that it does it symmetrically. So the, it, it's nicely symmetrically laid out. It, it thinks about that geometry. And the sensor is still straight. The face is still a bit small in comparison to the rest of the um, UVs. So I'll just do the same thing. I'll select some UVs in the center. Oops, yeah. Make my soft selection, make sure that it fits exactly within the UV plane. And then using scale, I'm going to make the face a bit wider, making sure that if I go too far, it starts overlapping again, just pushing out a little bit, and then also pushing out a little bit in this direction, just to get the face a little bit more space. Then we might want to make the bottom straight again uh, in the layout. And when we're done, you always want to make sure that all your UVs fit within the image plane. So we're going to normalize the UVs so that they fit exactly within the image plane. I think it took me a, a total of about two minutes, and the whole face is unfolded. So this Unfold <coughs> 3D method is a great improvement over older versions that were available in 
Maya prior to Maya 2015.